It has been a little while since I've done a video with the small but mighty HX Stomp. I want to show you a couple of presets that I put together into a preset pack. If you like the sound of these, you can grab them using the link in the video description. Basically, I've got a couple of amps that I find anytime I turn this thing on, I gravitate towards. And then I put together a bunch of presets which bake in some of my favorite effects. And I have done some videos in the past with these amps and these effects, but I thought it would be fun to just put them all in one place so that if anyone asks about them, they can just go and grab them all in one place. I'm playing a Fender Strat Ultra 2 straight into the stomp, straight into my audio interface. The clean or cleanish amp that I probably use the most is this US Dripman. Now, a lot of these presets are using an IR block and I'm using my free LTTV Mix 7 cab IR. If you just want the IR, it's also linked in the video description. Like I said, grab it for free, use it, make some noise with it. Uh, this particular Dripman, I've just dialed into where I think it sounds good with this guitar. And then the snapshots have a couple of different effects in there. Sounds like this. remember correctly, that is a newer amp model that they've added in there. And I really like it for the lower gain Fender stuff. For the Rock Crunch, the Brit 2203 does the trick quite nicely. Similar thing on here. I do have a bunch of different effects like micro shifts, some dual delays. We'll talk about those effects a little later, but this is kind of my core 800 tone that I find myself using a lot of the time. I will kick in an EQ to boost it. <laughs> Again, stuff. I really like the 5150, the Rev Purple, and the Boogie Mark IV. So I'll just give you a quick hit on each of them. <laughs> good fun. I've got a bunch of favorites in here that I use all the time. And this favorites tab has to be one of my favorite features on the Helix. The fact that you can dial in your favorite settings, name them and just recall them as favorites. So what I've done is I've gone through here and essentially I've chucked together a bunch of basic presets with a feature block. So all of these delay presets like dual delay, dual BBD are using delay blocks from my favorites list in here. Again, I'll just give you a quick little sample of some of them. <laughs> Thank you. 
The idea with these is the AMP and IR are pretty much a placeholder. If you like them, by all means, use them, but you kind of ditch everything else in the preset, save these delay settings to your favorites, name them, and then you've got them for instant recall on there. I guess it's the equivalent of something like the blocks library that I've shared for fractal devices on there. There's some great modulation effects in the entire Helix ecosystem. A couple of my favorites would be the Electric Mistress Flanger, the Univibe I really like, and of course, the Trichorus and some Micro Pitch. So I'll give you a quick demo of those, as well as a little hack to get the Rockman clean sound that doesn't use an amp. <laughs> Also a bunch of fun experimental effects and some artist inspired presets. Like there's some of my favorite Robin Trower style settings in here. There's a 5150 with micro pitch for your Van Hager era eddy tones. And then there's so many great sounding glitch style effects on here that you can combine them and get some really exciting new sound. <laughs> a testament to the stomp that it can be used for so many different purposes, whether you're using it as an entire rig on its own or as a backup to your main rig, whether you're complementing it with other pedals, whether you're using just the amp modeling or just the effects, whether you're using it as a practice solution, it is such a well thought out and well implemented piece of gear. I'd love to hear how you're using it. Let me know in the comments section below. This particular stomp that I've got here has done a lot of traveling with me over the last year. I've just kept it in my guitar case as a break glass in case of emergency backup for my main rig. Thankfully, I've never had to use it for that purpose, but if push came to shove, it would be fantastic as a fill-in for any of my other gear on there. And hopefully you enjoy these presets. If you do go and grab them, like I said, there's a link to them in the video description. And if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, links to the music that I make with my band Ragdoll and my Patreon are in the video description. Have a great day, go and make some loud guitar noises, and I'll see you next time.